John Kelly, President, Middle East, Africa, and Turkey at Rolls-Royce. Thank you very much indeed for joining us here at Economy Middle East. Now, could you start by telling us what are you showcasing at this year's uh, Dubai Air Show? So the beauty of Dubai Air Show is we get to showcase our technology in 3D out here on the, the flight line. Um, key announcements, as well as you know the usual orders uh, and customer interactions, we have tested our new Ultrafan, uh, which is our future generation gas turbine. Uh, we've run that up to max power, um, and that's been one of our key announcements uh, uh, during Dubai Air Show. Uh, the Ultrafan is a step change in technology. Uh, it presents a 25% reduction in fuel burn relative to early generations of our Trent uh, gas turbines. So that's a real step forwards. Um, the other aspect has been in terms of sustainability. So Rolls-Royce has been pleased to announce all of our existing engines have been tested and proven to be uh, ready to run on 100% sustainable aviation fuel, uh, which when we think about the future of the industry, uh, the need to grow sustainably, um, it is a really big step forwards. And sustainability is one thing. How about a net zero future? And what can Rolls-Royce do to uh, contribute? So our contribution is in three main areas. Uh, the first, as we've spoken uh, with the Ultrafan, is to continue to invest to reduce the emissions uh, and the fuel and carbon uh, generated through our engines. 25% um, reduction, which is a, a proven by the Ultrafan, is a big step forward. And if you think it reduces a quarter of the fuel required uh, for aviation. Um, so that's a huge step forward, a huge reduction. The second element in partnership with reducing the fuel used by the engine is to transition to sustainable aviation fuels. Um, again, uh, that requires collaboration with the rest of the industry, but provides a um, great way to remove the carbon emissions or reduce them um, by flying sustainably. Um, we see one of the key innovations, as well as traditional sources of sustainable aviation fuel, things like uh, bioproducts, is to move to synthetics. So another uh, announcement that we uh, made at Dubai Airshow is a collaboration with Zero, who are exploring and innovating in the area of synthetic fuels, which offers a great opportunity to scale up uh, the availability of SAF and to reduce the price. And both of those elements of what's held airlines back from using it to date. So we think that's a great way forward. And in terms of, if you could kindly expand, sustainable uh, aviation fuels, who are the key stakeholders in this, uh, in this area? So we have the manufacturers, ourselves, engine manufacturers, air framers. We have to collaborate across the industry with the likes of the oil firms, um, but also with innovators such as Zero, as I mentioned, um, and another key element, key stakeholder is government. You know, the right incentives, the right infrastructure from a governmental perspective is key to promote and incentivize the, the use of, S, uh, of SAF. So that whole ecosystem is something we're collaborating with here at Dubai Airshow, but also leading into COP28 in a few weeks time. And Dubai Airshow, always a big deal when it happens. Uh, what kind of impact does it have on the industry? Dubai Airshow, world leading airshow. Uh, it's always high energy, high drama, lots going on, fabulous location. Um, it's been, I mean, this time it must have broken records in terms of people attending the show, uh, the transactions announced. Uh, it never disappoints. Uh, it's a fantastic catalyst for bringing together the right players. Uh, and we always uh, super enjoy our time here at Dubai Airshow. And as a company, as a brand, what are your expectations uh, from the Dubai Air Show? And at the end of the week, what will uh, translate as a success for you? So, you know, our, our success obviously uh, will be measured in terms of the transactions. Uh, we've uh, seen a huge number of customer transactions, not just new deals uh, with key partners, key airlines, uh, but also extension of existing deals with some of our uh, trusted and, and valued customers and, and partners through the, through the week. The legacy and the, 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 the future is, is really about managing this transition to a, a reduced emissions future. Um, Rolls-Royce is a, is a key player, not just in aviation, across all sectors uh, that we operate in, uh, whether it be power generation, defense, and civil aerospace. So we are very passionate about driving that uh, change, um, 
making sure that we can all travel as we want to drive economic growth, but to drive that economic growth sustainably, to remove the guilt from that travel and to protect the planet for the future. John Kelly, thank you very much indeed for your insights.